one of the most catastrophic events in the universe, when a massive star, larger than our sun, reaches the end of its life, a supernova occurs. A powerful, destructive explosion on an almost unimaginable scale. And sometimes so intense that it can be seen with the naked eye from Earth. Scientists thought they understood this phenomenon. But recent discoveries have revealed not just one, but two new supernova variations. But how powerful is a supernova and could Earth one day be wiped out by the explosion of one? We are Astro Geeks, your channel for astronomical trivia and news. And to support us, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave that like to strengthen our astronomical community. So let's go to the video. Stars like our sunshine thanks to thermonuclear fusion, when light atoms in their cores fuse to form heavier atoms. Eventually, all stars run out of the materials needed for this fusion. If this occurs, and the star is large enough, it will explode as a supernova. Supernovae were first discovered in 185 AD, when Chinese astronomers suddenly observed a strange visitor star appear in the night sky and remain visible for the next eight months. This was the first known observation of a supernova in human history. However, there have been other sightings from here on Earth. In the year 1006 AD, a surprisingly bright star exploded in the constellation of Lupus and could be spotted with great brilliance in Earth's skies. Today, astronomers claim that this stellar explosion would have been 16 times brighter than Venus, the brightest object in our night skies besides the Moon. In fact, this supernova became so bright that it was visible in the daytime skies. The most recent one visible to the naked eye was supernova 1987A, in the year 1987. But will we ever get the chance to see another one? We'll get to that shortly. If you want to get an idea of what these events might have looked like, the Hubble telescope recorded one in the spiral galaxy NGC 2525, located 70 million light-years away. Hubble began observing the star between February 2018 and 2019. The supernova first appears as a fiery star located at the outer edge of the galaxy, outshining even the brightest stars before losing intensity. This star exploded 70 million years ago, when dinosaurs were still roaming the Earth, yet it took all this time for us to observe it, as the light from this gigantic explosion has finally reached us. Since they were discovered, it was believed that there were only two different types of supernova, type 1A thermonuclear and type 2 iron core collapse. A thermonuclear, or type 1A, supernova is the result of the explosion of a white dwarf star in a binary system with a mass of at least eight times the mass of the sun, when that star becomes so massive that it can no longer support itself after sucking in material from a nearby companion. The matter accumulates on the surface of the white dwarf and, once it reaches a specific mass threshold, a runaway thermonuclear explosion occurs that destroys the white dwarf. Iron core collapse type supernovae are the ones most people are familiar with. This occurs when a huge star, at least 10 times the mass of the sun, exhausts its nuclear fuel. As particles fuse inside it, it can no longer support its own weight, and the gravitational force causes its iron core to collapse, resulting in the formation of a black hole or neutron star. Scientists believe these were the only two ways a supernova could occur. However, now an international team of scientists from UC Santa Barbara has discovered a new type of supernova at a distance of 31 million light-years, in the galaxy NGC 2146, using the Las Cumbers Observatory. This new type of stellar explosion is called an electron capture supernova. In it, some of the electrons in the oxygen-neon-magnesium nucleus collide with their atomic nuclei, resulting in the capture of these electrons. This process causes the star's core to buckle under its own gravity and collapse, thus triggering an explosion of immense magnitude. Recently, however, another new type of supernova was discovered. A team of astronomers were analyzing data from the 2017 Very Large Array Sky Survey when they were surprised to find that a black hole was responsible for a supernova. The explosion was triggered when a dead companion star, either a black hole or a neutron star, plunged into the core of a neighboring star. The black hole or neutron star collided with the massive star and, as it passed through it, ejected a spiral of material from the star's atmosphere. As it reached the core, the material fell rapidly onto the stellar corpse which launched a kind of X-ray jets at almost the speed of light and initiated the explosion. This is the first time a collision-triggered supernova has been recorded. And if you're curious about how fast particles from these explosions can travel, 
the Chandra X-ray Observatory, a space telescope launched by NASA, tracked the wreckage of a supernova explosion witnessed by Johannes Kepler in 1604, when a dying star 20,000 light-years from Earth tore itself apart. Now, more than 400 years later, the NASA probe has found that the debris is still moving through space at more than 20 million miles per hour. That's about 25,000 times faster than the speed of sound. Now that you know a little about these powerful stellar explosions, you might wonder what would happen if Earth were hit by a supernova explosion. If our sun exploded like a supernova, the shock wave might not destroy the entire planet, but the side of the planet facing the sun at the time of the explosion would burn and evaporate. The entire planet would increase its temperature by 15 times hotter than the surface of the sun. In addition, the Earth would not remain in its orbit due to the sudden decrease in the sun's mass, and our planet would wander through space. Fortunately, our sun is very small and does not have enough mass to become a supernova. But let's consider the explosion of a star other than our sun, one that is close enough to cause serious problems here on Earth. Astronomers claim that a star at a distance of 30 to 50 light-years away that went supernova could be devastating for the planet. If a star went supernova close enough to us, more energetic X-rays and gamma rays from the explosion would destroy the ozone layer that protects us from the sun's ultraviolet rays. It is possible that it would also ionize nitrogen and oxygen in the atmosphere, forming large amounts of fog-like nitrous oxide. Phytoplankton and coral reefs would be affected, and most organisms would be wiped out by the radiation, severely depleting the base of the ocean food chain. It is possible that it would leave surface and ocean life relatively intact. However, the planet would be bombarded by gamma rays and other forms of high-energy radiation, which could cause mutations in terrestrial life. Mass extinctions of entire species of plants and animals would certainly occur. But has Earth ever been hit by the waves of a supernova? Scientists have found clues on our planet that show our entire solar system has already passed through the debris fields of a supernova in its distant past. In fact, the entire solar system has been flying through the debris fields of one for the past 33,000 years. It has been discovered that a supernova carved out the local bubble, as it is called, in which our entire solar system is situated. In addition to the craters that supernovae have opened in the Milky Way, they have also left traces on our planet, on the ocean floor in the form of iron, 60, a radioactive isotope of iron that we know is created only by an exploding star. However, no supernova has been known to occur at such a close distance in the known history of humanity. So what are the chances you'll see one from the Milky Way in Earth's skies in the next 50 years? For people in the Southern Hemisphere, where most of the galaxy can be seen in the night sky, there is a 20 to 50 percent chance of seeing a supernova explosion with the naked eye. One star that could go supernova at any time is Betelgeuse, in the constellation of Orion the Hunter. Betelgeuse is one of the largest known stars and is a bright red dot that marks the shoulder of Orion. This star is a dying red giant with a diameter approximately 950 times larger than our sun, and whether today, tomorrow or 100,000 years from now, it will explode, providing a celestial spectacle for humanity. In 2019, Betelgeuse began to dim dramatically, hinting that it might have reached the end of its life. Astronomers aren't sure how the supernova will unfold, but all agree that there will be an intense light in the sky that will rival that of a full moon and cast shadows at night. Yes, you will be able to see the supernova in the sky during the day. It may sound a little scary to say that you will see this gigantic explosion, but you don't have to worry about it wiping out life on Earth, as Betelgeuse is far beyond the 30 to 50 light-year deadly range of a supernova and is approximately 724 light-years away. Only animals that use the moon to find their way around would be confused, as adding another light as bright as the moon in the sky could mess them up. So, do you think you could watch a supernova? Would you like to honor this moment? I confess to you that I hope to have this opportunity. Tell us in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the content and want to continue exploring the fascinating world of astronomy, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new videos. And also don't forget to leave your like, because it helps a lot in spreading our work. Share the video with your friends, so that everyone can embark on this cosmic journey with us. Together, we can take knowledge and admiration for the universe further and further.